All right. All right. So <coughs> last week we where did we do last week? Uh, we don't have notes. Time stuff. Yes, we got. You guys got uh, your first uh, time stop encounter. Uh-oh, it's going to happen again. She said first. <laughs> um, Enter the plot. Yes. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And uh, you met, the, uh, met one of the astrals that came and explained the situation. And the merchants, the merchant and his buddies were found in the, in bags and carts and uh, you guys received new items because Endis returned from the Great Forges. So we are... Where are we here? Hold on. I lost my map! I may cover them. Whatever. If, if the tweet 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 gets annoying, let me know and we'll... <laughs> cover them. It's a parakeet being noisy, not the new guy. <laughs> He's sitting over there just kind of like, whatever, I got millet. Da, da, da. Alright. Um, so we are currently on the road still. Uh, the We'll say that the time stop had just ended. We'll say you guys took like a two hour break. And the um, Merchant is ready to get going again. Um, no, stop that. On your world map, for rough estimate, you will be ab ab about halfway from Vare, like between Vare and the river, like a halfway point between. Between the two. And whoever wants to start. Is the caravan going again, you said? Yes, the merchant has come and, and told everybody we, we need to get going. Alright. Yay! That's my walking thing. Sorry, I'm getting caught up on stuff that I forgot to do last week. Oh, fabulous. Uh, it, about the game, that is. No, like notes that I forgot. Oh, I can see. You want me to change that? I want them right now. Just back your output down a little bit. You are very loud. I don't see. I don't see. It's, I said bottom right or bottom left. Well, easy to <laughs> Actually, take your bottom left now because you turned up over halfway. Yeah. It's your microphone level. Yeah. Hence your output. There's also your main out, which is bottom right. There. It's hard to read. Fucking love light staring at you. Ten years longer than mine. Oh, what hair? All right. So, who would uh, like to? Or well, I actually let's start with where are you guys standing for this venture? Uh, yeah, I think I'm fine where I am. Me too. Yay, Good now. Ian Odom out front. Alright. This is when we should get attacked from behind. Don't give me ideas. A swarm of Pegasi come up behind us and breathe fire down on us. Right. They don't do that. This is a weird, planar world. They could do it if they want to. <laughs> Okay. She could totally mix and match monsters. Okay. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> All right, so you guys are, are making your way. Um, 
I should go what in them. The, the green dots or those things, or were they just left there from last time? I think they're like bushes and stuff. Yeah, they're like bushes and shrubberies and such. Shrubberies. Just so you can kind of see how far away the trees begin from the the, the trail. Okay. This is a uh, fairly heavily traveled road, so you'll notice that like, hold on, you pass. Hey, dinner. <laughs> it's a pardon us. We're just now eating. <laughs> um, so you'll notice that this is a very heavily traveled road. Um, there, uh, the dirt is heavily packed down to almost make a uh, a gravel. It's just really like you can just tell like everybody travels this road, no matter where they're going. And uh, you're only on the road for maybe an hour, and you come to a fork in the road <clears throat> where it splits to two different directions. And uh, if you and when you look at the split, there's a small sign there that really is so old it's illegible. And get off the phone. And um, one. Point, the one that points to the right um, looks like it may start with a f with a, a familiar letter that might be the world poison where and then the one that points to the left looks like it might have the resemblance of the word Chev. And Wait, the, the first one did you say the world poison? The, the word poison. Oh, the word poison. I thought I you said... That makes me feel better. Uh, the world poison. I'm like, uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to take from that. Okay. Yeah, it's not to confuse you, you know. We should go find the world poison. Right. Um, the merchant makes the statement that uh, you guys need to go to the left. He starts treading off that way and the carts head off that way as well. This path is less traveled. Uh, you notice the carts shrink into single file at this point. Um, wait, so did you say the left was to Chev or the what le left was the word poison? Right was poison, left is Chev. Oh, okay. I flipped them in my head. Cool. Yep, just had to confuse you, you know. <laughs> So you may want to reposition yourselves on said map. Oh. I'm still good where I am. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stay on the trail where I am. <laughs> Come on, you can't get those little vine things two sessions in a row. That would be silly. Yeah, that's not predictable at all. Hey, I'm anything but predictable. Which means it'll be a totally different plant monster. Yeah, assassin vines. Surprise! <laughs> Hydra assassin vines. Ooh. Now you're getting creative. So, you guys are heading along. And, uh... For those three of you that are up towards the front, the merchant turns to you and says, So when was the last time you fjorded a river? Fjorded a river? Can't say I've done that. I usually just fly across. I'm not worried about rivers. Not everybody has the luxury of being made from metal or having rock. wings. I thought it was rock. Yeah, marble. There's metal in there, too. Metal and rock. Okay. This merchant's not exactly the brightest. <laughs> we'll just go with that. Okay. Well, you're going to have to get, have to help us get across. Because, uh, these four wagons aren't exactly buoyant. 
How deep is this river? Well, it's late spring, so shouldn't be that deep. Five, six feet, maybe. Maybe. Okay. How wide? That's where it gets complicated. De depends on where we decide to cross. Let's cross at the narrow point. That's usually the plan. Sometimes the narrow point is not accessible with the carts. Mm. Wait. Doesn't the path hit the river at a specific point? No. The, the path cuts off and ends because most people don't go to Chev. At least not this way. So we... We'll have about a mile of no path. Oh. And it'll be... Usually it's field. Usually. Occasionally there's a shrubbery and a bush that starts to grow and you have to like cut up way so you can get through. Usually Wait, it's it's mostly grass. Spontaneously grows. Well, they I only go to Chev once a year. Not exactly my favorite place. Oh. So I try to not go there. So I don't really <laughs> yeah. Um. Why don't you like going there? Well, unless you have something they want, they don't want you there. Hmm. Right now we're lucky. We have something they want. They'll be expecting us. However. We have to hope we can find the narrow point of the river through the field. Okay, so this could be fun is what you're saying. Sure. Uh, Last time I lost four people in the river. Oh, that's exciting. Um... Hmm. So you may want to, you know, figure out some ideas, because normally we only travel with three carts, and for some reason I decided to take four. Are the crates waterproof? Oh no. No, these, bo these aren't meant for boats. These are, these are land carts. Not the carts, the crates inside. Why would I waterproof a crate? They're on land. But they're about to go through a river. Water? Right. Again, I don't. I, I forget this part. Because there's a, a there, there's usually bridges that go where I need to go, and I'll normally go through poison and then come over to Chev. Um, and there's bridges that go both. That allow me to come around that way, but uh, not this direction. How fast does the river flow usually? This time of year? Should be pretty slow. Shouldn't be too fast. Yeah, we didn't get much rain. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be too bad. Just empty a cart. I'll push it through. We can have people carry crates across one by one. Shouldn't be that much of a trouble. Um, well, that will work for some of us. If it's only like six feet deep, we'll be able to keep our heads above. But some people I think that will be a problem for. My goblins aren't that tall. They'll be yeah. swimming. Thankfully, they were with me last time we had to fear the river. They swim very well. I would be no help in carrying crates. Yeah, I think that would be pretty much me and Odin. Wait, I can't. 
remember how tall the other one is. The other one? Oh, me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'm about six feet. You're what? Uh, I'm about six feet, somewhere in there. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, six feet exactly. So, it wouldn't really work for you just to walk across the water either. Um, unless I have some spectacular, spectacularly cool power. <laughs> Walk on water, you're a priest, come on! I can always just hide and, you know, put myself inside of my bag of holding and have someone carry me across that way. You can put yourself in your bag of holding? Yeah, you can put living things in there. But, you know you turn the bag inside out whenever, you know, people are in there, then... Uh, this, whole this whole time the merchant's looking at you like you're insane. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not saying this in character, I'm just talking, because I'm still uh, in the bag. Yeah, he doesn't know about what's about to happen. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. In the distance, you start to hear water running, like a river. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, this will be interesting. You notice that the path that you were on is no longer well traveled. In fact, it's looking pretty much like no longer a, a travel, no longer a road. Cool. You start uh, to no notice the uh, carts are getting really bumpy. They're hitting a lot of like pot, uh, we call them potholes. Why not? Mm -hmm. There's bump bouncing along. The pace is going a lot slower now, and you can see where like it's just kind of turned from dirt into grass. Um, hey, Odom, how about we don't go back and uh, tell the priest about what's coming up and just let him discover it on his own? Y'all were, you know, friends. We are, but this could be fun. <laughs> right. Well, we'll take a quick break here. Oh, well. You're gonna need your strength. You're gonna want to eat, maybe not eat, uh, and uh, we'll, because we'll be at the river within the hour. Okay. Cool. So he holler. He calls everything to a halt, and you know, and <clears throat> calls his guys over to him, and he's giving them all orders, and they start bagging up, like they start running into the, into the carts and bagging stuff up and compacting stuff down and you notice know, so that they're starting to just prepare everything for the for the river um hmm. does anyone have rope uh i have 50 feet of hemp is that enough to get across the river how much is it 50 yeah I have silk rope, but I don't know how long much the, whatever it's, the default is. It's usually 50 is the default. Okay. We could try something like building a raft. If I walk across and attach the rope to a tree on the far side, bring it back over here, and we attach the rope to uh, the raft, it should push the raft to the other side, because the rope will keep it pulled into that other bank over there. Are we going to make a raft out of one of the carts? There's trees. I thought that we weren't around trees anymore. There was a field and then bushes. There's still trees, but they're not like right nearby.
Um, or I we can just do it by brute force. I think it's technically the same strength, but the hemp rope is a lot heavier. Yeah, it's well, thicker I, and heavier. I think the rope idea is good that we could we could like tie it if there's something on each side to tie it to. We could tie it low enough so that as people are walking across, they can hold on to it so they won't get swept away. That might be a good idea, but I don't. I don't know. If, depending on how fast the river is moving, I don't know how well the raft idea would work. Especially because we still have to get the carts across too. Well, that's what I was thinking. Was we put the carts on the raft, one at a time, maybe. So you were thinking really big raft. Well, bigish, big enough to make enough of a difference. I assume the carts are made of wood, so they would float a little bit. That's a safe assumption. Well, so we need to tie the parts for the raft together, which would use up some of the rope. Were me and Ro the only ones who had rope? I do. Oh, you do too? I have no idea how to build a raft, but I'm willing to give it a try if you guys want to see how that works. Oh. Oh. How to build a raft. You're smart and stuff. Uh, I, you know, yell up a what? A raft? So we can uh, put the carts on and ferry them across? I'm going to, you know, make my way up, up there. Okay. Uh, and, uh, say, I'm sorry, you were going to what? So we, we were thinking maybe we'd build a raft big enough to put one of the carts on and then put a rope across the river and use that to ferry them across. Okay, um, just out of character, log logistics-wise, like how... Like big are these carts, sis? Um, I would say roughly four by six, four feet by six feet. Okay, and are they like packed full of crates and stuff? They're not like overflowing packed, no. Okay, and I'm assuming they're all different stuff. Like, do we have a general weight of like full and empty, or? Um, some of them actually all. Three of them. There's only three of them that actually have stuff in them. One of them is carrying a body. Yeah. Right. Um. Didn't that one originally have stuff in it? They moved it yeah. all. To yes. The other one. So one of them has like double weight of the other two. I, well, they distributed the weight from the stuff from one into the other three. Oh, okay. So they, they evenly distributed that. Um. I would say like they all have like metals and swords and things like that in them they have lighter goods like fabric and herbs I'm waiting for him to squawk sorry <laughs> well if there's a lot of stuff like swords that are relatively narrow bundles those are easy I'll eat them and then pull them back out on the other side well, again, I, he has a bag of holding he has a bag of holding in his mouth 
That's <laughs> at, at his mechanical storage. Yeah, I missed that you had a bag of holding in your mouth. Yeah, well, I'm not going to use that hole for much of anything else anyway, so. Convenient place for storage. All right. Um, okay. And, okay, so back in character, I'm saying, so are you planning on chopping down trees, or how are you making a raft? Well, there are trees around. So is that your plan, is to cut down trees and make a raft? Do you have a better idea? Um, it, see, so you said we're, like, right up there, right? Um, you're not right there yet. You'll be there within the hour. Okay. Um, like, this current second, I think it would be... Not necessarily unwise, but... Uh, a bit hasty to make a firm decision on how to cross until we actually see how deep or how wide a section uh, it is. You did say it's about six feet. Okay, six feet. Deep, Deep. Deep, not wide. Okay. As you guys are, are coming to this conclusion, it's perfect timing because the merchant has come over and said we better get moving before the tide, before the yeah, water rises. This is an odd river that has a tide. Well, <laughs> I couldn't figure out the right terminology for it, so I was like, well, we'll just say water. Well, you know, if it's close to the ocean, that can happen. Well, it does have an inlet from the ocean, I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, or ice could be an outlet. I don't know. Either way, it works. I'm just looking where the river is on the map, and that would be very special, because there's a river in the yeah. way oh, of yeah. the uh, ocean. Yeah. So, uh, moving right along, he says, you know, we need to get moving and everything, and he shouts to everybody, and they grab their, their carts and things and prepare to to get moving. Okay. Um, as long as I don't know what other people ha have yeah. sort of stuff in their inventory. I have very little. I haven't bothered to buy equipment, so. Uh, what is there something that would be particularly helpful? I can tell you if I have it or not. Uh, not necessarily. I just don't know what people have. Like you know, could be creative. <laughs> mm. I've got oh. standard traveling fare. Okay. Normally, I I have a ton of stuff, but I'm a walking golem. I don't need anything with this character, right. so I haven't bothered to buy anything. That right. should change, and then when we get to a decent town, he'll go nuts. But I have an ever burning torch, silk rope, fine cloth, six tea leaves, journey bread, and my mysterious vial of uh, golden hair. <laughs> okay, so everyone essentially just has an adventuring kit, so to speak. Okay. Wow. Um, I, I I kind of look over the merchant. He says, uh, "Do any of, any of your wares that you have? Uh, do you think any of them would be useful for helping us uh, portage, or you know, the river? Useful going across the river instead of selling? No." To use to cross the river to put back so you can sell. Who'd want to who'd want to buy something that's already been used? You're telling me that none of the things in your carts have been used before. You don't need to know that. I uh, you know, just shake my head uh, and. Uh, I go back to, I guess, pondering how to go about this. The problem is, you know, without actual details, it's hard to say either overthink this, underthink this, etc. Well, as well, there he goes. What did he do? He just randomly takes off. <laughs> Here. 
Yeah, he it's decides like, he, he, just, he just randomly decides he wants to go after something for no apparent reason. Go on that. He may have been aiming for her shoulder and just totally missed. Yeah, I'm pretty certain he was. Alright, so, um... Stop. Um, <clears throat> as you guys are trying to figure all this out, you have reached the river. The river appears to be roughly 25 feet across. And actually looks a lot less deep than five feet. Oh. Okay, Yay. and how... Okay, uh, I'm gonna walk across it. How fast is She it just going? walks across. <laughs> um, and actually, water. It actually looks like it's not moving. Oh. It looks um, almost stagnant. How... Did we ever determine how heavy these carts are? No. It depends on the cart and how stuff is distributed. Uh, because if the two biggins could pick one up, they could pick one up, walk it across over their heads, put it down, come back, grab another one. Well, this is why I'm walking across, because I'm trying to figure out how deep it actually is, and it's just oh. as easy to actually walk out there and test. <laughs> and is how tall are you? Six foot six. Okay. As, I mean, you already ran across, unfortunately. I was going to say, one of the easiest things would have just been to tie a rope to you in case something nefarious actually happened, but oh well. He just did it, so... <laughs> oh well. What happened to be a little bit this? more proactive than that. As he Dude. finds a hole in the middle of the river, falls down, <laughs> and stays there for a hundred years. <laughs> mm, uh. Steel man, no smart. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so what happens to Endus? Endus is gonna go Hold on, I gotta make a river. <laughs> All right, when you're making a river, I'm getting another bowl. Uh, I'm going to check on my iced coffee. See if it's ready. <clears throat> and again, he wants to eat the pop filter. Oh, woman, you're destroying stuff. I fixed it. I'm allowed to destroy it, I built it. Emerus, that is not for you to stand on. Are you are you gonna say something? Yeah, let me turn the microphone. I was gonna say he's getting ready to scream. He's making sure he's got the right spot. <laughs> Yeah, now when you poop, it'll be right on her keyboard. Best part of the movie is coming up. There, there was a best part of that movie. Yeah, when they sing the um, the song, the Lonely Mountain song, or Under the Mountain song. Hmm. No, the first one. Misty Mountains. Such an obvious title.
Oh. Let's try and check out your keyboard. Out of character, I think it'd be really interesting to try to do a pulley system. Mm. I don't know if we have enough rope for that. Oh, we got yeah. we got three fifty feet lengths, oh, and we only need twenty five. Did you say how wide it looked? Twenty five. Oh, okay. I missed that. Mountains cold. <laughs> Best frozen video ever. <laughs> yeah. Best frozen video ever? What? No, Radix is total derp face. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, Skype is being really, really slow. Or laggy or whatever. Wow, oh, this place is really strange. They got purple water. I was just about to say, what the hell? <laughs> Yay, purple water! Be that means it's healthy. Uh, right. Or poison, or <laughs> the fungus is not is not growing well in that in that water. Watch, it's gonna be ice. That was hard. Oh, hold on. Hold on. He's deciding that your headphone cord is a chew toy. I know. I acknowledge that. I don't like it, but I acknowledge it. Did Hawthorne fly across? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Cheated. Hacks. Hacks, I tell you. There should have been like an anti-fly zone over the river, and as soon as he got into it, you should have fallen into the river. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> All right. Lay down. So, um, that's not for you to chew on, honey. Thank you. Lay down. So, Hawthorne is able to fly across, no problem. And this, um, actually about where you're at, the water gets extremely deep. Like, over your head. Just sudden okay. drop off. I want to keep going. Okay. So, everybody else just sees him all of a sudden poof into the water. So it's deep. Alright. It's a problem. But I wish you I get could tell him to raise his hand up and see if like it reaches out of the water. <laughs> and as you get about five feet further and you're able to, it's like a huge like cliff you have to climb over, but you're able to get back up to almost waist waist high. Your voice is a bit muffled because you're talking through a bird. <laughs> Can I help you? No, come here. Step up. Thank you. <laughs> Step down. Thank you. At least he didn't take that moment to squawk. <laughs> yeah, I'd feel really bad. So, um, my hair is up for a reason. Um, did everybody make out what I said? So, like, the deep hole is like a five foot hole, basically? Right. Okay. Right where he was. So he's back above water again. Yeah, he's back. Uh, once he goes through that five feet area, he is back up to waist level. Okay. When he's back up to uh, waist yet level, I yell at him. If you go under again, raise your arm up so we can get a feeling for how deep it is. It's not the depth that's really steep. 
so the cards would get stuck. The depth does matter, though. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep going across the river. Okay, you make it across the rest of the way, no problem. It's just that one hole. How tall are the trees around here? Um, well, you would have to travel a bit back. Um, because right up against the river, you don't really notice a whole lot of trees in this area. Um, but if you look down river, you'll see, you see trees. Um, or you see trees behind you where you were. The ones that are behind you are rather skinny. Uh, nothing, nothing that looks really sturdy. Um, and they're not very tall or anything. Then there's the ones that, um... are a little bit further down river and they appear to be we'll say 15 ish feet high um fairly fairly stocky fairly thick um when i would ask him when you're in the hole if you look to your right or left did it extend for as far as you could see um Kind of. You notice that, like, it veered off behind trees when you look to the left. And when you look to the right. Thank you, Emerus. Thank you. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Stay off there. Might want to retighten the, uh. I, I want to. I need my hand back. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, so if I pixie dust a card, I can basically just push it. It literally just says target. It doesn't say, like, it target doesn't say target fly. person, or it just says the target can fly. I would say that it would be inanimate objects, too. At that point, oh, I could pixie dust a card. Fly over the, the river with it. Um, with pixie dust, you have to think happy thoughts. It errata says one ally. Ah. Nobody needs the errata. Yeah. The, the character builder doesn't say that. The one says what? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I'm looking at the printout from the character builder now. That's Effect. weird, because the, the oh, compendium... Uh, huh, weird. Oh, yeah. I did not pull up the compendium. Well, yeah. could try doing, um, like either me or Endus flying, and we can try hauling it across, pulling them, hauling them. Yes. Well, the problem is that big chasm in the middle. Well, if we're flying, we could just carry them across. That's what well, I was saying. What we could also do, uh, and I'll say this in character, uh, with the, the chasm, we could just sink some uh, logs down there and make a small bridge over it. Or rocks. Or rocks. Way to be all smart about it. With that note, you do notice that there are boulders uh, just upriver from you. Okay, I'm going to go grab a boulder then. I'll roll it into the river. Me too. I'll, I'll sit there and watch. You want us to roll strength checks to pick up the boulders? Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I'm under the water. Because the water wasn't pushed back <laughs> far enough. I was like, what happened? Did you forget how to fly? Yep. We, didn't, we, didn't, we weren't clapping and believing <laughs> enough. <laughs> I believe in you! I, I pushed it back a couple of layers. Good, I hated Julia Roberts anyway. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, you guys are gonna go pick up boulders? Or just one boulder? Huh? I'm gonna try and pick up one, and I think Endus is trying to pick up one. <coughs> I'm hovering. If there's one that's kind of roundish, I'd rather just roll it in if it's possible. Oh, I'm totally um, trying to pick it up. You see one that might actually fit the hole? Okay. Um, and and this, you would, your character would notice that it was essentially a hole. It was not like it was a divot in the in the rock in the uh, river. It wasn't like a linear. It was literally like someone tore a chunk out of the out of the bed. So well, then why are we bothering? We can just go yeah. a little bit down river and go around it. 
You wanted to plug the hole. Okay, well, I'm going to check, uh, <laughs> like, 20 feet upriver and see if there's a decent path across there. You'd find another pothole. Does it look like there's any path through here without potholes? I don't know. You know, walk up and down the bed of the river. I'm sticking my head into the river and looking around. <laughs> well, you, you would be you'd be very magically impressed to find that uh, <clears throat> the river is rather crystal clear, not muddy or murky or anything like that. There's no sludge under the water except for where you've been treading. Um, and you would notice that there are. It literally looks like cookie cutter holes all over the bed of this river. All we need is like, you know, a ten foot spot where we can go across. Is there that? And this. Well, there's holes everywhere. We can just try and plug one of them to get across, I guess. Okay. There doesn't seem to be an easy path across. <laughs> Go get boulders then. Okay, I'm gonna try and grab a boulder that looks like it'll fit one of the holes and I'll plug it up. Okay. Um actually how does assisting somebody work in 4E? Can I just roll You can assist? Um, to assist someone, you'll, you may only get a plus two benefit, uh, to the roll, I believe. Um, assist. Glossary. Or, aid another. Um. Oh, actually. Yeah, it's a, you only get a plus two bonus. Oh, we can just take ten on the roll, too. Yeah. I mean, realistically, you could even take 20 and just take longer. Yeah. Well, I'll try to help you then. And just... Oh. Yeah, I mean, we're not in a real r crunch for time, so right. I'd just say just take 20. Except for, you That's know, the end of the world and stuff. Nah. Yeah, but taking 20 minutes to get this thing plugged and getting the stuff across is not that big a deal. Right. Well, I mean, actually, it's only, it's not even that long. It'd, it'd be like two minutes. Yeah. Because it's uh, 60 seconds, I think, per take 10. Yeah. Isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, because I think it's, the time is basically like one round per thing. 10 so rounds like, or something, yeah. Uh, taking 20 is basically like, okay, I'm going to take 20 rounds, and I'm going to get a 20 at some point in there, so. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it's in the glossary. Oh, yeah. no? <clears throat> as far as like how long it would take, I'm not over I'd be honest, I'm not overly concerned about that. Um, at least not at this point in time. It wouldn't make a huge difference. Uh, whether unless it was something like it took an hour or something something along those lines. But to assume it would only take like five, ten minutes, and that's fine. Um <laughs> So you get the boulder and you plug. Are you going through? The, are you plugging the first pothole you found, or are you plugging the second? No, I'm going to plug the first one because there seemed to be a decent path across there. All right. So you plug that hole fairly well, and uh, hi, thank you. Um. And uh, then what? And then I'm going to walk across and just double check it to make sure that there's a decent path there. Uh, yeah. You notice the the rock that you the boulder that you rolled in is a little slick, a little slippery. Um, and you notice that it's it rounds up over the area, so you actually come up out of come up a little higher in the water um, when you're on top of the boulder. So you would notice that it would make very very bumpy, uh, or rather bumpy uh, ride ride for the cart. But it would still be doable. Uh, how how tall are the carts? Um, are you talking from 
like what's the base like, of the storage part? How to the ground? Is that? Yeah. Um, you got about, about 18 inches, almost two feet. Okay, those are small carts then. Yeah, yeah they're not big. big. They're not like wagons. In total. No, they're just carts. Where is he? How high is that creature? The... Wait, is there a top? They're not open, right? No, they're not open. They have doors. So how high yeah. is the top? Um, well, the top would go up from the bottom, like the cart itself. It like the there's the wheel, which is roughly twenty four inches. Um, what's that diameter? No, diameter is a circle thing. For a wheel, she was saying the wheel oh, was. Oh, the wheel, yeah. And That's di a diameter. Diameter would be from one side of the wheel to the other, assuming right. the cart bottom is actually about halfway up that wheel. So You're talking be... radius. Okay. Yeah. Math. Not my strong suit. Um, so, so the wait, wheels are roughly 32 inches in diameter, so you, okay. they would be 18 inches in radius. And then... Hi. That'd be 36 in diameter, but math. Whatever. Again, <laughs> not my strong suit. She was really close, guys. Come on. No, there's no really close to him. Unless it's horseshoes. Because Or hand no. grenades. Alright, so then how high... Oh. So then you've got from the base of the cart up um, would be about four feet. So okay, I mean, so, they're not anything huge. So the huge. top is right at like six feet off the ground. Right. And how deep was the water other than that pit? Um... You'd say, I was saying, like, your, wa your waist. Get off of there. So, they'll be a little bit underwater then from the... Yeah, yeah. It, it'd be like Not three, four bad. feet. Yeah. But, on the good note, we can get the Grimlocks to just hold boxes over their heads and walk across, so... Um, yeah. should we... So, like... The dead body, like, it's, it's special, and it's like a revered thing and he really wanted to treat it right should somebody like carry that across so yes. it doesn't get if you look in the cart it's actually on crates in the cart oh, okay so, so it's elevated, elevated in the cart itself as well okay. well Arlie can you and I lift that cart entirely across could try I'd be fine with that it's probably lighter than the other ones mm -hmm. yeah it is it just literally has some crates and the body on it apparently and if the Grimlocks start ferrying boxes across, we can pull the carts over when they're empty. And realistically, if it came down to it, you could use the Grimlocks to help you move the carts, too. Mm -hmm. Do a four-person system instead of a two. Well, yeah, I'm not expecting that myself and uh, Arlie's character are going to do the entire work, but it, like the Grimlocks can, are clearly not going to be underwater hey. walking across this, so the they Grimlocks, can ferry stuff across. The Grimlocks are the ones pulling the carts, right? Right. And there's two Grimlocks pulling one cart, usually? No, no, just one. Just one. Okay. So there's four total. All right. Just trying to get it in my head. My character wouldn't have thought of any of that, so never mind. So, yeah, we could definitely do that where we try and carry it across. That would work. All right. So, the cart that has the body in it is cart number four. Mm-hmm. So one, two, and three have supplies. Okay. Okay, uh, well, before we start, I'm going to... Is there a stick around somewhere, like a relatively decent-sized stick? There's sticks all over the place. I'm going to grab two sticks. I'm going to plant one on one end of the river where uh, the path that I've got there comes in, and one on the other end, so that we know what path to go from one to the other stick. How would your care? I'm just curious. How would your character like do like come up with that thought? <laughs> that I know where I'm going, but maybe these other things don't. So I'll just point. Yeah. Out. It's like I did with the other stick. It's like I'm just putting something in the ground. Here it starts. Here we go over there. Okay. Easy. Thank you. It's either easier than trying to explain it. <laughs> well, yeah. It's just that was exactly. It. I'm like that's really smart for. Frankly, a stupid like robot. <laughs> hey, he's wise. He's not dumb, dumb. He's just 
You have an intellect of eight. You're dumb, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> sticking, sticking sticks in the ground is not high technology. But sticking sticks in the ground because you think other people might lose the path is kind of smart. Yeah. I didn't think that would be covered by his wisdom. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Mm, yeah, 13 maybe. was, so... <laughs> 13. Yeah, plus one. It's a bonus. Let me alone. <laughs> Hey, you have more wisdom than me, so it's all right. Okay, so, so are you guys gonna go for it? Yeah, um, I'd say let's start with the one with the body in it first. Get that one across. All right, are you guys just pulling it across? Are you carrying it across? We're trying, We're trying to carry it. To carry it. Yeah, try and keep it from getting wet. All right, you're able to carry it with not much hassle. <laughs> I know you said hassle, but for some reason when it came across, it sounded like you said asshole. <laughs> so, without much asshole. Why would I ever say that? <laughs> I know, that's why I said I know what you said, but it just sounded funny. <laughs> Anyways, we get the body cart across. Yes. Um, are we going to empty the other one and carry its contents across and then carry it, or are we going to try carrying the other things with the contents in it? Uh, I, I think, like, the safety thing would be to, you know, take all the stuff out, but then the other side is like, well... Why don't you just test out how heavy it is? <laughs> I think I would be inclined just to try to carry him. Yeah, you're kind of yeah. a, you're a brutish dragon lady. Yeah, I mean. While we're waiting, Grimlock start grabbing boxes and going across one stick to the other stick. Yeah. They uh they look at you like who do you think you are? And they look at the mer uh, back at the merchant. The merchant nods and they begrudgingly start emptying out the carts. Um, you'll notice that they go to cart number three first. Alright. Well, let's try and uh, just carry cart number two with all of the stuff. See if we can get it across. It was cart four, right? Cart four was oh, the one four on the body. Was the one body. I it's thought already, that was the one we were taking. It's already moved. We already took that one. Oh, okay. I'm saying, let's do the next one and try and see if we can carry one with all of its stuff well, across. See if we can lift it first, yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, how heavy is it anyways, you know? Uh, at, at this point, I'm going to have uh, Hawthorne use his cool utility and fly me over so I don't get my, my vestige robes wet. <laughs> Alright, make sure you get right up to it because you only get six squares of flight. To get right up to the river's edge, and I'll go ahead and uh, throw some sparklies at you. Totally have it malfunction and have it plunge at the end. And, and, and you start to kind of levitate three, four feet off the ground. Yep. No, it stopped. It's doing things. You get five okay. squares of movement? Six. Six, okay. You can make it barely dry to the other side. All right. Hi. Why are you trying to take off with my cables? I, I just wanted to be over, you know, with someone with the cart in case something nefarious happened. <laughs> I, I, so, I'm concerned yeah. about losing this body. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to be over there so he didn't have to do any work. I have a strength of eight. <laughs> you could empty carts. Mm -hmm. Use your mind to float things, because you're <laughs> smart. Yeah, you're so smart, you should be able to do that. <laughs> so, uh, the, so, the the goblins assist are assisting the Grimlocks now to empty cart number three. And you guys are going to do what now? Uh, Endis and I were going to see if we could pick up cart two with all of its stuff in it, and how hard that is to see if we could carry it across. With all the good stuff in it. Alright. 
Because if we can manage it, we may as well just take it across. But if it's difficult, then we'll just start unloading. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, give me a strength check. Fourteen. Twenty. Total, not that. All right. Well, um, I and this has no problem with it, uh, but our your character sh looks like she's struggling. Oh. Oh. Well. well, let's just unload it. Yep. How close are the Grimlocks to getting cart three empty? Um, pretty close. It's about half empty. A little over, maybe. Okay, well, uh, let's start ferrying stuff from cart two over. Once they get cart three empty, though, I'm going to push it across. Okay. My panther swims across the river, gets right next to Radix, and then shakes off. Yes. I, uh, I give a slight annoyed look, but uh, just kind of deal with it. The uh, card three is all but empty. The, uh, they're removing the last crate now. And you notice that the merchant has made his way across to, to join the others on the other side of the river. Okay, well, I'll, once the cart's empty, I'll push the cart itself across. I'm probably better able to wrestle it across the river than other the Grimlocks are, so. All right. So you make the, the venture, cart three goes across, no problem. And I start working on emptying out cart two and carrying that stuff across. Alright, you'll notice that the goblins are actually emptying the carts while the Grimlocks are carrying everything over. Mm -hmm. So they've kind of created like a little system of who's emptying what and who's moving what. Okay. Well then I will just pick up something they empty and carry it across. I joined the line. Or the system. And the orc has also assisted in carrying things across. Ow. Do I go to bed? Yeah, that's what I thought. Do parrots actually know words? Like, know what they mean? He's can, learning. Yeah, they can learn. Hmm. Yeah. Step up. Good boy. No, let go. You can't have that. Stop it. Get up. Up. Thank you. Alright, well, I think we're just going to keep going with the system until we get everything across. Yep. It seems to be working, so. Alright, it, um... We'll say it to... It, takes off with no problem. Uh, you get everything across fairly easily. Why are you taking that? Just whatever, fine. Um, you get the carts across, no problem. Uh, it takes a little while before the supplies are put back into the into the carts. Let me figure out who I got here. Alright, who's helping me move people? Me. Jeez, am I not fast enough for you? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> hey, you got eight people to move. I figured I'd help. And I have no clue where three went. Because I think we both tried... Wait, right, there's three. Yeah. You have them all. Okay. Don't make me freak out like that. Jeez, man. We both tried to move one at the same time, and it didn't go where I put it, and I didn't see where you put it. Hi, Amaris. All right, so you guys get across without much hassle. Um, and are you guys going to help put everything back into the carts? Mm -hmm. As well, yep. Okay. Are you assisting them as well, Endis? Yep. Or Radix? No. Person who didn't answer? 
Uh, yeah, I'll find the smallest of boxes and do stuff. <laughs> you, you could just help put bags in the car. Really? <laughs> You're lucky I love you. I'm gonna scoot right over here. <laughs> Okay, I, I want to comment how that worked perfectly. It fell at the same time. Something in Arlie's television went. Yeah, dramatic music as she's. Yeah, I know. It was perfect. Oh. I so wish you guys could have seen that on the uh, video as to what the bird just did. He's standing on my pop filter and he's just hanging out and he goes to do his little head bob thing. And uh, he like bobbed twice and like went up, went upside down. And he's just hanging there like, oh crap, not what I planned. <laughs> Alright, so, so, um, you can just get right out of the way. Okay. Okay. Um, as you guys are putting things together into the carts, there is a rustling. Yay. Yay! Wrestling is never good. As long as it's not more rocks. No, no. It's it's wrestling. Just a wrestling. It's a terror ask. It's and, a rabbit! Uh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so there's this rustling on the other side. And, uh... You notice that there's, I mean, it's a fair bit back, but there's trees and such. There's like a tree line. But this, this trees out back out here, and as you're looking at looking at the tree line and everything, uh, you notice movement in the in the bushes. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Like, you hear it. It's pretty loud. It sounds like maybe something fell. Can we roll a perception to see if we can notice what fell or what the cause of the wrestling is? Sure. Perception check, where are you? I got an 11. Ha-ha! I see things. I got an 11 also. I appear to have found the cat that I'm riding on. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay, there we go. Ow. How am I getting the Six. highest roll? That's what I was going to yeah. say. The best was a 16. Wow. <laughs> okay, I so. I obviously had a great roll. And this? You notice that there is a a broken branch from a on a tree above where the wrestling was. Okay, I'm gonna pull my axe out and I'm gonna walk over to see what might have fallen. And it eats him. <laughs> uh, so, are you gonna move your character over? Which, where, which like tree or shrub was it coming out of? Jeez. Right there. Alright, I'm gonna kind of follow up a little bit of a distance behind. Moral support, you know. Right. <laughs> um, I'm sure the golem needs that. So you can identify what eats me. So you get a bit a little closer, Endis, and you notice that there is a large branch sitting on the ground. Okay, does it look like it's snapped off or something? Or was it, cut off? It's broken. It, it looks broken. Not cut. Broken. Something heavy. I'm going to push the branch out of the way with my axe. Anything underneath it? A bush. I'll shrug and watch walk back to the, help with the carts. Now might be a good time to remind everyone that I can go invisible and scout. <laughs> 
Why don't you speak up, you know, when that kind of stuff happens? <laughs> because, frankly, I didn't think of it. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're a rogue. You have enormous stealth anyway. Alright, so, uh, you're continuing to load up the carts and get ready to roll out? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. Let me shrink my river back down here. Uh, oh, I was <laughs> like, that just made it disappear. <laughs> that was my goal. All right, I'm moving you guys because you're now in my way. Well, fine. Excuse you. Well, essentially, these carts are moving, and uh, you know, the essentially the people that are moving them would run you over if you didn't move. Did you move and this is character like fifty <laughs> feet away? <laughs> Actually, I don't think I moved his character. Okay. You just, you know, way apparent, down there. Apparently somebody stinks. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's what happens when you go on the hole of doom in the river. Alright, so all the carts um, line up and they get ready to roll out. And uh, you hear that, rush, that uh, rustling again. Is it in a different spot? Yes. Okay. Let's see if we see anything this time. Oh my god. Ooh, I rolled a 20. Gives me a 24. This is the one time I see something. <laughs> yeah, I'm not noticing anything. We'll mark you it guys, in the books. Like, oh, all yeah, of you guys are going to not see anything, and you're going to be like, well, she can't see anything, so, like, it doesn't matter what she saw or thinks she sees. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the yeah, rust answer. <laughs> rustling was off in that direction. And there's actually bushes and such in the way. So unless you can pass a nature check to see through said bushes. Nature, nature, nature. I have nature somewhere. Ah. Alright, I'll take it. Shh. I got a seven on my nature. <laughs> seven right, on a so roll or seven total? So like, I see the little individual leaves on the, the bush. I'm like, ooh, that bush has a lot of really cool leaves. Okay. Radix, you notice that the um, that behind the bushes and trees and such, the rustling appears to come from a bird. A bird. large bird. How large? Bird. Um, I'd say about a foot. Oh. So, the size of our rogue, okay. <laughs> it's another rogue! Woo! <laughs> um, it's a very colorful bird. All right. Um, <laughs> right, I will... Yeah, I'm gonna Wait, make... 19 wasn't enough to know what it is? No, that was just to see through the brush. Oh, right. Okay. I, I run up and just say, it's a really colorful bird that's about your, about the size of you, pointing at Hawthorne. Cool. Maybe it's uh, us. And, I mean, that's that's about the extent of it. I mean, 
unless I can make like a nature ch another sort of check to see if I know what kind of bird it is. You can if you'd like to. Okay. Can check. Um, you know it's a smart bird. A smart bird. Okay, um, I, I guess I'll relay something like, we had something sort of like this in our world. It, uh, it's not just a common bird. It's something we should possibly be wary of to see if it follows us. As the tense music starts in the background. <laughs> dun dun dun. It's orcs! Alright, well, I guess we we'll can keep an eye on it and continue on our way. Yeah, I mean, that's all we really can do at this point. Give me 30 seconds. Two. One. Two. Watch it, watch it be a shape-shifting one that turns into a, a rock. Or a rope, whatever. Yeah. Just for giggles, I'm gonna go invisible and fly over and see if I can see what it is. And apparently it tweeted at me. <laughs> <laughs> sees you. It has true sight. <laughs> Shoot! I got an 18 to figure out what it is. Well, you'll get a little bit more information than I did, maybe. Yeah, that's gotta be the one. Alright, hold on. Oh no. No, I had a picture of the bird, um, but I realized I saved it on my work computer, not my home computer. So, I had to go looking for the picture again. All right, yeah, you know, I'll just worry about it later. Okay. This what I found is not what I thought it was, and yeah. Anyway, so what about my shirt? Uh, there's no like colon or anything to differentiate between a like chapter four verse twenty or whatever. So it just says a giant four twenty on your shirt. Yes. Yes. So it's like another then, like misrepresentation. And then, and then underneath it, it says there's no high like the most high. Nice. Oh, stoner DM. <laughs> Throwing birds at us that are all magic colors. Well, alright, so, um, 
build an 18. I did. Alright, so Soros, you notice that... Oh, crap. <laughs> what did you notice? I also went invisible and flew over to it. Doggy! Oh, my puppy met a Great Dane yesterday. It was quite hilarious. Uh -huh. It was like the size differential. It was fantastic. Yeah. He was a little weirded out because he's used to most dogs that he runs into being smaller than him because everybody yeah. has small dogs here. <laughs> so he was like, wait, what? <laughs> it was great. I'm just changing the bird at the last minute because there's no way to do this without having that picture. So, all right. So there is now a um, a picture in there. What in the living hell is that? And it looks something like that, only it's different colors. I, I. This is actually a real life bird. <laughs> this is like one of. Like a real bird. So that's what you see. Um, you know that they are similar to a cockatrice, but much smarter. And they're trainable. Ah. <laughs> that, is a, that is a horrific looking bird. It looks like a Pokemon I've seen at some point. Oh no, god. This is actually a Polish chicken, but for the game, it's something completely different. Um, and it's multiple <laughs> colors, it's not just black and white. I fly back and relay the information. <laughs> That's a fantastic word. So that is is what you are finding is making all this noise. Okay. okay. I'm calling. This thing is gonna be. It's gonna cause trouble. Well, we know they're trainable. So, uh, do we kill it in case it was trained by someone to spy or? Uh, no. I I would venture based off of at least Arlie and my uh, alignment that wouldn't go so hot with us. No. It has not done anything to us. We just let it be. <coughs> we could cook it and eat it afterward. That way no. it doesn't go to waste. Go to a living thing wandering around is not going to waste. <laughs> and if You're it's here to it, spy on us? Well, but still. <laughs> While you guys are trying to determine this, is it, are you just letting it walk around? Yeah, I'm not yeah I guess. It. All right. Well, it, gonna do it now that it, it notices that you notice it, it's starting to act really cute and to get your attention. And it's bobbing its head and fluffing its feathers and looking at you all kind of cute. Just let it be! Leave it alone! It's dangerous. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> yeah, I see no reason to kill it. No, I'll go with majority here, but I don't trust random bird that popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> um, as you like, are you guys all over looking at it, or are you from a distance looking at it? Uh, I'm just where my character bubble is. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna a good say distance away now. This little thing right here is your is the little bird. Bird getting Endis, what the Endis linked it. Thanks, Endis. Very good talk. <laughs> 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> The corgi that you saw the other day. Did you meet the corgi? He did. What's the corgi's name? Uh, asshole. The corgi hates all of their dogs. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Alright, so. You guys are looking from where you're at to the bird? Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm saying it's so cute, just let it be. I'm telling you, we should kill it. Another one comes out of the bushes right about there. Oh god, we're surrounded. Kill them all. Oh, this is gonna cause problems, but, you know, I'm just gonna say, let's keep moving to the, the merchant, you know, the caravan. Let's just keep going. As you guys begin to, uh... As you guys begin to walk through, they are coming out of the bushes all over the place. Oh, yay, it's a herd of them. Oh, look, it's a cult classic film. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll quickly notice that if you look behind the caravan, they're following. Like, after you walk past them... Hide pipers! They're following right behind the, la behind the end of the caravan. Like, the last, uh... Wagon. Mm. Oh, this is weird. Mm. I'm very much uncomfortable with this out of character. <laughs> well, yes. <clears throat> Kill them all. No. So in character, I'm like, murder them all now proactively, but in character, I'm just like, they're fucking birds. What? Yeah. You would also Pretty notice the, the merchant doesn't seem to care about them. He is completely indifferent about them. Yeah, well, he was indifferent about time stopping, too, and we saw where that led. Yeah. You also notice the people with him are indifferent about the birds. They don't care about anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one Grimlock didn't did care about us being locked yeah. or stuck or whatever. So come yeah, on. that's true. Mm. All right, I, I, I just lean, you know continue to say let's keep going, but I lean over to the merchant and ask him about the birds. The birds, they're always here. They, they live here. They're, they're everywhere. Great. This is where you find them. You want one? They make good pets. No. Really? They're, easy, they're easily trained. I used to sell a couple of them on the, other, on the islands. That's, Worked well. That's nice. Alright, just saying. Maybe you'd like to upgrade that panther of yours. Upgrade? <laughs> <laughs> This, this bird is going to do what for me? <laughs> Why am in the face? <laughs> you don't know these very well, do you? you can I'm just gonna link it back up fish. to my gift that I linked. And he stops and he looks. He looks down the path a little bit further, and he goes like that one at the head of the path. And you notice there's one actually standing right on the path. We'll put him right. We'll see this one standing right about there. And uh, he said, "Like that one, for example. That one's trained." Okay. How do you know that? Well, one, it has a collar on. <laughs> and you look, and it's got a bright blue little leather. It looks like a leather collar, maybe, sitting around its neck, and it, it's actually sitting very alert. I wonder it's if its name staring is Bluebell. I bet its name is Scout. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. And uh, as you guys get closer, it's not moving. Like all the others would like skitter away. And then they'd follow in behind the uh, caravan. This one isn't moving. I try to move at it like skit, scat, scoot. It's staring at you like you're a moron. <laughs> well. <laughs> Who gives me information? Its name is Spy. Well, he's not moving. We should probably try to go around him. 
No, we should try to not necessarily move it, but you know, I'll, I'll move up to it. Um, as we know from the merchant, whatever they're intelligent, and this one's trained and safe. Uh, I will ask the bird, uh, very politely. Would you mind stepping out of the path so we can get by? It cocks its head at you like it has no clue what you just said. I will, you know, do my my patient sigh, like, uh, uh, where is your owner? <laughs> it fluffs its feathers and looks back at you like, what? Maybe he All wants right. food. Try to give him some bread. I don't have any of that. <laughs> I, I'm going to... Okay, what? I, I'm going to take my, my staff, which I don't have a good representation of, and just, you know, slowly put it towards the side of the bird and Try to push it out of the way. Gadget. Yeah. As, as you go to nudge the bird, it jumps up and onto your staff. So it's just sitting on my staff? <laughs> yep. <laughs> he has a new pet. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm going to carry said bird on top of my staff, like so over on, here, out of the way. Before you can lift said, before you can lift your staff from next to the bird, you need to give me a strength check. Because uh -oh. these birds aren't light. Uh oh. Uh. What are they? One foot tall, fifty pounds. <laughs> are they eight feet wide? <laughs> They're all like bodybuilder birds. <laughs> Ten. I'll accept that, given my my That's very frail frail nature. Yeah. You can't lift your staff up, and you can't carry him far, but you can hover him right where he jumped on, and you're going to struggle with it. I wasn't trying to actually, like, you know, m like, lift the staff. I was just, you know, putting it on the side of him and then moving away. Like, am I making that clear? Like, I think she's saying that it's hard for you to drag the end with him on it, because he mm. jumped onto it. So now it's like... <laughs> He weighs like 20 pounds. These are like 20 pound birds. It's the bird staff now. <laughs> <laughs> you have lost your staff, sir. Uh, I'll go up and try and give him a hand with it. I should just set the stupid staff ablaze with holy light. <laughs> I said kill them all. Uh, I'll walk up to Radix and be like, you need a hand? <laughs> Seems like you're struggling a little. <laughs> I, uh, I'll hand my walking stick to Arlie. <laughs> okay. Ah, yay! That's a lot. What is a lot? Well, I rolled a 20. So that's... Uh, okay. uh, probably a 25 or 24. A 24. For some reason, I always think I have pluses to strength checks, but I don't. It's just athletics. So, yeah. I try to drag his walking stick to the side with the bird. Alright, Gear, yeah, you have no problem moving the staff and moving the bird that's on the staff. And he stays okay. on the staff? Oh yeah, he stays on the staff. Want me to try and shake him off? Sorry, as as long as I get the staff back eventually. I mean, <laughs> without well, right the bird. now, you've got a bird on a staff, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it better not be mine. <laughs> oh, maybe you should get another stick, and we can see if we can get him to go onto that stick. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'll get like a branch from a tree that I'm near and give it to you. Right, and I put it down and hold it in front of him and like, come on, get on the stick. Get on the stick. You can do it. It's looking at you like you're insane. <laughs> As are the rest of us. <laughs> hey, pretty, pretty, pretty. Come on. <laughs> nope, it's pretty happy on the staff. Well, I 
can bring it with us, I mean. Yeah, I mean, I, I just wanted it out of the way so we could continue. Alright, well, I'll walk along with it on the staff then. I'll, right, I'll pull, um, pull out my second staff from my bag of holding and just walk with that for the time being. You have another one, man? <laughs> Why do you need this one, Matt? <laughs> well, the the one that you are currently holding is my, uh, what is it, staff of ruined power or something. Ah, um, It is, uh, yeah, my staff of ruin. And then the one that I just pulled out is the one that we got from whatever from Endus. Oh. Right. So I have two. I okay. could stab it. That would get it off the staff. No, don't stab it. Yes. The the bird turns to Hawthorne and squawks really loud. <laughs> fluffs his feathers. <laughs> I look at the bird and I say, "Then get off the staff." <laughs> it turns its back to you. Alright, well never, I guess at this point I'm gonna never drag turn the your staff back to behind a me with the bird on it. Just be like, oh. like, a, like a hobo stick with the bird <laughs> on it. Basically, instead of a stack, a sack, it's a bird. Arley, where's your character at? Is it where it is now on the uh, map? or? Well, Radix never moved himself over to the bird, so I didn't know. Yes, I did. I moved it over and then I moved it away. Well, you never drug, drug the bird anywhere. You failed at that. <laughs> We didn't get because that far. You, well, no, you never moved yourself. Well, you moved first. You went up to the bird first. Let's not worry about the bird. Arlie, where's your character? Hey, okay. I'd say I went over off to the side there. Okay. And you're taking the bird back to the caravan with you. Well, I'm just waiting for the caravan to catch up and I'll start <laughs> walking with it again, basically. Okay. When you... Hold on, let me move the caravan. Actually, you know what? It'd be easier just to move the trees. Tweet. Oh, for Pete's sake. My dog is barking. It's a very weird sound. Your dog doesn't bark? Not very often. It's very, very rare. Tweet. Alright, so the car caravan's on the move. Barking about. Caravans on the move. Are these things actually walking with us? Oh yeah. Ah crap. Where are the Pied Piper birds? Clearly he has a lot of energy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the dog is literally going crazy, running around and barking at his toy. All right, so that's roughly what you're roughly what you see. Did did one hop up on the damn cart? Oh yeah. Uh, is that the only one you notice? On the cart, I notice all of them, but that's the only one I saw on a cart. All right, so Arlie, let's just pretend that the caravan caught up with you uh -huh. and take your place wherever you're going to be with them. It, is one of them sitting on Odem's shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. D does it think he's a statue? <laughs> <laughs> I just cleaned that. <laughs> it's just hanging out. <laughs> I want to see him stuff it in his bag of holding. <laughs> Uh, so, Arlie, where are you standing with everybody? Yeah, that's where I am. I'm just that's ahead. where you are? And I'm assuming the bird is with you? Yeah. Okay. Bird on the stick. Okay. Um, when you rejoin everybody, the bird leaves the staff and uh, flops over to, a, to be on a cart. Oh, dang it. <laughs> All right. I'll walk over and hand this. Stick back to Radix then. Okay, yeah. 
Um, and you hear a horn in the distance. Oh no, they're mechanical birds and they explode. <laughs> you, you said that uh, the, the bird in particular, B, had a collar on? Mm -hmm. I'm going to fly over to it and see if there's like a tag that says its name or its owner's name. Languages can you speak? I speak common and Thanks. Uh, Elvish. Yeah, Elvin. There's there's a collar on it. Actually, it's not actually a collar. It's engraved. Well, it's not. A t there's not a tag. There is a collar. There's that. What would normally be on a tag is actually engraved onto the collar, and it's in a language you do not understand. Sure. Mm hmm. Technically, there's no language called Bay. Yeah, it's Elven. Yeah. Um, the language that it's in, I know one person in the group would be able to understand it. It's but I know it's not him. All right. Probably are we. <laughs> I never looked at its collar. I was just trying to get it off the stick. So, so yeah, I know for a fact that it's not me. <laughs> Unless, you so, know, these birds are from the deepest reaches of hell. Uh, no. They're too cute and fluffy for that. I, oh. I uh, go back to the party and relay that it has a tag that I can't read. Okay. I mean, I'm not very concerned with the bird at the moment, so... It might be fine. important finding out what the tag says, though. Like, it's just standing on stuff. We if you don't go read the tag, I will kill the bird. <laughs> what? There's a loud <laughs> horn in the midst of this ar this arguing. There is a loud horn mm -hmm. that goes off in the distance, and all the birds freeze, like their heads come completely upright and their beaks turn towards the sound of the horn. Mm. Which so way is the all the of their attention? From? Or which way are the birds facing now? Like. That general direction. Yeah. All right. Is the caravan still moving, or did we stop again? Um, it's moving, but it's slow because there's no trail, there's no path, there's nothing, and the merchant is acting like he's lost. He's acting like he's lost. Uh, this is the it's worst so merchant in history. Useless. <laughs> Why are we traveling with this guy? <laughs> Anyways, I walk over to the 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 cart and climb up the back of it and try to take a look at see if I can see the bird's collar and read it. The bird's collar says Makdar. Makdar. Mukhtar? Mukhtar. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Mukhtar. There you go. So. Am I the I only it, one? I read it and I yell real loud back over at you guys. It says Mukhtar! Alright. I, I kind of give her a quizzical look, say, you know, okay. Uh, what do, would you know what that means in your language? I'm assuming it's a name. Correct. Is it the bird's name or is it the owner's name? I lean over is to the, the merchant. Bird to go, Mockjar? <laughs> or do anything? It, like, does a little head bob at you. I lean over to the merchant and ask if that name means anything. He doesn't know. He continues to be clueless about all things. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, I mean, I don't have anything in my notes about that name, so... There are now two horns going off in the distance. 
Man, and we're getting, a little bit closer. A little bit closer. We're getting I'm gonna, raided. I'm gonna get my axe out and ready, but not holding it aggressively or anything. Yeah, they don't sound threatening horns. They're just horns. I'm invisible. Yeah. I hop back down from the cart and walk back around to the front again. Okay. Uh, you'll notice oh, that- Oh wait, which direction does it sound like the horns are coming from? The orange dot. Ah, okay. Grab my hand. See, they're being- Don't die, Bilbo! They're being commanded to surround us now. See, we should have killed them when we had the chance. You're right, I'm so the king. jumpy for a butterfly. I'm the king of AoE. I'm not worried. The birds are actually slowly moving to the front and moving ahead of you. So they're Maybe actually they're going to show us the way. Faster than you. Um, the way to our doom. <laughs> you... Roll me a perception check. Everyone. Oh. Everyone. Oh, in the park. I rolled the 20! Yay! <laughs> I see things! I got a 23. I don't notice anything. <laughs> <laughs> You've got hands. Hey, I'll that's not the me. lowest perception check ever, okay? <laughs> Alright, so you guys, um, everybody but Endis noticed that the cart veered right at some point. Recently, um, and is now going in the general direction of the horns. Why did the cart veer? I'm assuming that the the thing pulling the cart is still pulling it. It's not like all of a sudden the cart animated and is now going off in a direction by itself, right? Are we just like in a field or something? Pretty safe assumption. Um, kind of, yeah. Did the merchant go with the carts? Oh yeah, the merchant led the carts to turn. No. Oh, bastard. Uh, I'll, I'll ask the merchant, why are we turning? Because Shev's that way. Uh, I mean, mm, wait, where's my map? map? What native Shev, turn left? Shev would be, Shev would be north. We're not heading north. Do you really I mean, want me to rotate the map? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I, just, could, I, I could rotate everybody. I'm just saying. Well, no, it wasn't that. It was just that the, the north thing was all. Hold on. Then we'll just rotate that. There you go. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> yeah. That looks like a Z. Let me fix that. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't work for me. I tried. <laughs> the, Direction new, Z. <laughs> it's a new axis. You, you probably haven't heard of it. Yeah. Oh my. So going to the right means we're floating higher in the air. Mm. That would be the z-axis. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Right. Yeah. <sighs> yes, it was a bad right. joke. Okay. Everybody yeah. can groan. Maybe the birds are like the guards for Shev, and they're here to lead us to the city. Like a welcome wagon. Well, I I don't. This may be the way to Chev, but we are a long way from Chev. Oh. Okay. I mean, I, I can tell that given it took us an entire day just to get from the like two days to get from Vare to over the river to the right to the east. The horns are going again. This bothers me. Based on the map, we're like heading to poison or something. <laughs> no, we were traveling north the whole time. She just had the north directional marker wrong the entire time. <laughs> oh, sorry. Like last session, I thought we were heading east towards the river. No, it was north. north. The river. 
Okay, then that's, yeah, my mistake. Then. Well, we were heading into the sunrise, but the sunrise is in the north, so. Yeah, I knew that. I Okay, ignore me then. Yeah, from Valray, we've pretty much gone almost due north the okay. whole way. My mistake, I thought we were heading east. Uh, I'm not to confuse you. Sorry. I blame the DM. I blame the map. It's dysfunctional. It doesn't work to my abilities. Okay, so I guess we keep going or something? I don't see a reason to stop. The birds have moved their way forward. And there are actually there's more than I have circles for. We'll just we'll just go with that. There's more than I have circles for. I need to find a phone booth. <laughs> So you can become Superman? No, so we can all get in the, the booth to and scream you know, the birds. No, like, cult, ah! cult classic birds. No. Yeah. These are too big. Um, and to attack us from the outside of a phone booth? <laughs> no, for birds. For the and they, birds. And they appear to just walk. Primarily, yeah. Oh, they don't really fly. Yeah. They bob, they bob their heads and they... Their hair like puffs around when they're bobbing their heads. Um, the little bird froze. Uh, as they've, uh, as they're moving away from you, the horn. Every time the horns go off, they stop and take notice of the horns, which is, seems to be pretty frequently now. And uh, and this, you have me concerned. Wait, who seems concerned? Uh, the random link in chat. Oh. <laughs> Talking about swarms of birds and phone booths. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <sighs> so, as the birds are moving away from you, there is... Um, let me see this guy. One second. I'm having to resize to my needs. That'll work. Cool. Three people on the on the. It's not really a path, but on the uh, area that you are trying to uh, get get through. In front of the birds, and you can tell that the three of them have horns at their side, and they look familiar. Familiar how? They look like they look similar to uh, one of your companions. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> The one who burst into an instant grin the minute I said that. <laughs> More memes. <laughs> Radix, you look oh, disgusted. Oh. No, sorry. When you said looks like one of your companions, I thought I was like, oh, damn, another like time stop like copy. <laughs> it's our evil twin. No, that was exactly what I was like. I was like, damn it, not again. Not this yeah, soon. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Okay, if it was, yeah, just more more dragon word, fine, uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Not nearly as annoying. <laughs> uh, do they look like they're, like, like, are they holding weapons out at the ready, or, like, what? Nope. Weapons are sheathed. Then I call out a greeting and say, Hello, brothers! <laughs> well, one of them is a female. Fine. <laughs> you may wanna... <laughs> so I'll let you know that. Um, Hello, peoples. Right. Uh, the bird that had the collar runs straight over to number one very happily. Um, and they greet hey. each other like a boy would greet his dog. I guess hey. that's Mokdar. Well, no, but the, the bird's name could be Mokdar, because he shook his head like that, which, you know, is often a yes. 
that in in birds that's a sign of excitement so it might have been he got excited when he heard his master's name <laughs> the uh merchant comes out to the front of the caravan <laughs> and is waiting his way through birds to see these dragon kin or dragonborn and um <laughs> It's very, it's like the ambient sounds for us tonight. <laughs> yeah. It and, fits. um, he, you notice that he's greeting them from a distance. He's not talking very loud, so you, it's hard to make out what he's saying over the chittering of the birds. Well, I want to follow up behind him when he goes okay. up. All right. So he's weighed his, made his way through the birds and he's, a, he's, about here. Let me move you back a little. He's about there. And, um, he's greeting them and everything and, uh, apologizes for coming across their territory. And, uh, you notice that he, Arlie, you would notice that he's speaking in, uh, dragon, but it's not very good. Like, you're listening to it going, oh, that's horrible. I don't know if he knows what that word means. Like, <laughs> that's how bad it is. Um, it's it's worse than broken English. Awesome. And, um, but he's trying, you know, and, and they notice that he's making an effort to explain to them what they're, what they're doing and what you guys are doing in the area. And he mentions the body of the dragon kin that, they, that you guys have in the cart. And you notice the look of fear that comes across their face and sorrow um, over the loss. And one of them, uh, specifically number three, puts a horn to his lips and, and blows the horn in a sequence of uh, trumpets, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. And you hear it resound back in, in, in the same and you can tell that it's very um it just has a very saddening feel to it um did he mention the strange dagger we found with him like no second? he did not get the details he just gave him a brief rundown um number two who seems to be heading up the pack of the three um Turns and, and greets you, Arlie. Uh, I when I he, like held, he he greets the merchant first, and then he turns and he greets you. And uh, basically says, you know, hello, sister. I return the greeting, and I'll expand on what the merchant said that there was also a very strange dagger that we found that looked like it was what was used to kill the. The body we found, but we neither none of us could figure out like where it's from, who might have used it, like or anything about Te it. But technically, we do kind of know where it came. From. Well, I don't really remember that. So, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he you were his, the one doing all the up. dining. <laughs> he puts his hand up real quick and says, "There are better places to talk than here." Okay, and. uh he turns to he turns to number one, who is the female, and you can tell like she's younger. Um, and uh, he turns to her and kind of shakes his head because she's like she's hugging the bird and loving all over this bird. <laughs> and he turns and looks at her like, "Are you kidding me?" Um, <laughs> And she just kind of chuckles and sounds back up like, oh, yeah, we're doing something. <laughs> um, and he leans over and he, and he whispers to her and then two and three walk away. And she steps forward and says, I'm going to show you to to our village. Well, tell her thank you. Cool. And um, they begin to to lead you guys back the merchant goes back to the caravan and tells everybody to move slowly and cautiously be careful of where you step and what you do 
keep your weapons away. Do not raise them in alarm. Anything of that nature. And they begin to lead you to a small encampment. You better war- warn the, the pixie not to be all stabby. I continue to be invisible. Okay. <laughs> I continue to be stabby. <laughs> <laughs> well, I continue to be that too, but they can't tell because uh... I'm invisible. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Suddenly, squares appear out of nowhere. Suddenly, Poof. eleven squares. I'm actually, I don't, I don't know if I made enough. I'll be honest. Those are eight. Nine. Those are May not be enough. But I'll find out in a minute. Let me get the birds out of the way here. No, that was intentional. Undo that. No. Mr. Grumbleace, so play with my friggin' map. Jeez. Oh, look, it's Gollum. Oh, oh fabulous. What's turtles, precious? <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Tweetly. Tweetly. Yeah, I'm gonna end up moving that one anyway. Really? <laughs> After you yell at me for moving it. Yeah, because I have to move it and then put it back. Mm hmm. What? I have to line everything up. Mm hmm. Don't give me that, mister. Apparently, it wasn't a long enough walk, I guess. And then to... Nope. Come on. Stinking map. You know, my took us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Took us. Took us. How did I do that? I'm trying to remember how I set transparency on this stupid thing. Uh. I don't want that one though. Oh, there it is. Ha! Yeah. There it is. I did. It. Yay. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. Let me tell you. So you enter in through a um, a side of the village that there's there are no gates, um, and you would notice that the. Uh, the building buildings are fairly sparse, um, spread and spread out. They're not like right up next to each other. Um, you would also notice that the center of the village is wide open, okay. and there are people 
like there are uh, dragonborn everywhere, um, and a few dragon kin here as well. Um, the village is not. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Um, civilized, for lack of a better term. It's very, just very rudimentary, very basic, very quiet, very simple. Rustic? Rustic, thank you. Um, so there, uh, but there's, I mean, it's, it's, you're looking at mud and grass, primarily grass on the ground. The buildings are, they, they look old, formed out of uh, rocks and stones. They've been standing for a while. Um, there's a few gardens here and there. They have, you can tell that they've been there for a while. Um, this is all, like, it looks like a very old town, but a very rustic town. Okay. Um, actually need a payroll hook, I'm sorry. No. Oh, shut up. Sorry about that. Hey. The Goblin Cleaver! What? The Goblin King. In oh. Did anything happen when we entered town? Harley asked if anything happened when we entered town. Sorry. I, was yeah, I didn't even connected. notice you didn't have your he headphones on. <laughs> yeah, I was not connected. And he didn't say That's anything until just now. Um, <laughs> well, she just said it. When you Right when you first enter town, you notice that people are coming out of their homes. Uh, you notice people are coming in off the fields to to your entrance. Um, it's not an excited gay visitors, mm -hmm. but it's not an 
an ag- and like an agitated or aggravated thing either. It's just very, um, very solemn. Uh, we should probably turn over the body to them post haste. People. Okay. <laughs> Notice, you would notice that the merchant is in deep conversation with one of the villagers. Um, I'll kind of walk up next to, uh, just politely in case, you know, he has any trouble communicating. Okay. Uh... He seems to get the the gist of the of the statement across that they have a body that in their possession that is a a dragon kin and they want to they brought it back so that it, it could be properly tended to. Oops. And in turn the gentleman that he's speaking to in the village thanks him and uh, offers to uh, see that you guys get room and board for the night and then makes a gesture to several people that are um, standing around the around the group and uh, that are from villagers for them to, and they go over and begin to remove the body from cart number four. Okay. Do we leave the dagger with the body? No, the merchant has it. Oh, okay. Does he hand that over to them? Yes, he hasn't mentioned the dagger. Um, he's, he's being bad. He wants to sell it. <laughs> I kind of lean over to him and I was like, you want to let them examine the dagger in case they can find out anything more about it? Now is not the time. They must bury, to bury their dead. Okay. Okay, so, I mean, are they, are they just taking the, the body then? I mean... Yep. Okay. They have removed it from the from the cart very gently and have taken it into a one of the into one of the buildings to the side. Okay. Now what are you doing? I'm just kind of waiting around. I mean, there's nothing for me to do right now. Yeah. We offered to give a hand if they need a hand with anything. I remain invisible. I just imagine, like, uh, Hawthorne staying invisible until he just randomly decides to stab somebody's toe. It... Out of character, it sounds like staying invisible and then reappearing is going to cause a ruckus. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I, I offer um, any help with preparing anything that they need. They, um, they thank you for your offer and, uh, let you know that if that if they do need anything, they will, they will come to you and talk and and, and see and see if you're able to assist. But they believe that they do have everything under control. Okay. And as people are coming out, you notice that there are. It looks like it's a larger group of people in this small village. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and Hawthorne would notice that this village is not on the map. Oh, goody. Wait, can you repeat, repeat that last part? I noticed that the village is not on the map. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can I quietly point that out to everybody? So this is not Shev. Where is it? It is not Shev. We're nowhere close to it. Apparently, remember? <laughs> I don't. You're still about a half a day from Shev. Okay. We turn to the right, so I'm guessing we're east of Shev somehow. Okay. Okay, I see that. Yeah. You're like... Let me make a dot. Okay. A dot! I don't, I, can, I don't know if I can edit this. No, not on the fly. Mm. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, nope. She's sleeping with me. So, um, they are now bustling about taking care of the, the body. And the merchant has taken the carts off to a small area and has kind of set up shop not necess not exactly um, he's redistributed the equipment and um, has everything back in its original placing placement <clears throat> and he uh, has also set up their tents and such that they have a place to sleep What's the uh, three by three green square ahead of us and to our left? That would be a garden. Okay. A garden? A garden. I don't know that everybody's going to fit in this little space. Interesting. Alright, um... <laughs> one of the... Um... thought that was y'all's dog, and not uh, Radix's. No, it, hers is more of a baroof. Baroof? Baroof. And she's laying down out cold right now. <laughs> You'd think she actually does stuff. Yeah. Had an exhausting day. Come on. Yeah, she walked down the steps to lay down downstairs, and then she walked <laughs> back up the steps to lay down up here. Hey, she's pretty big. I mean, moving that body around is a lot of work. Especially up and down. <laughs> Are those dogs generally, or at least is she usually a couch potato most of the time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yay. All right. So, we're just kind of milling about, waiting while they're... So, someone from the 
village comes over to you. Mm-hmm. The gr- little group of, grouping of you. And says that they have room for you in the inn. Oh, there's an inn. And uh, they apologize. It's it's not much. Probably not, probably not compared to the inns that you've seen. Um, but there is a, sta- a small stable available if you have need of it. Um, and they they mentioned that they don't normally get visitors, so it's a a treat to have you here. Mm-hmm. And he, we'll say they, because I don't I don't want to keep track of who's a he and a she. <laughs> um, they walk you over to a small room. Yay! I stand on my panther's head, still invisible, and say, "I'll need my own room." <laughs> I can be accommodated. Well, it is a panther. You can just put it in the stable. I will stab you. (laughs) Awesome. In the bottom left-hand corner of the map is where the inn is located. And they give you free reign to oh, shit. to talk with people while you are there. Way to go. I always do that. I don't know why. I don't... I try not to, but man. You gotta click on everything. Jeez. I was trying to click on me. Well, you missed. Um, so they, uh, they... Basically, they give you free reign to walk about and uh, to see everything. They tell you, you know, feel free to visit with with people and, and check out the different um, things that they have going on. You notice though that there are not much. There are not many merchants in the area. There's not like there's no forge. There's no um, Excuse me, I'm gonna beat this one over here. <laughs> it's sarcastic. Marty Pants. You'd notice that the inn has one room. Okay. <laughs> what? It's 20 by 15. That's a small inn. It is. They said it was gonna be a small inn. Okay. Say just yeah. I was gonna say throw something at him. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, there's a set of stairs that go up to the rooms. The downstairs is a solid open floor where there is no bar, but there are tables, and you can see like the kitchen is essentially right in there. <laughs> And uh, when you go upstairs, you walk into the inn and some and someone in the inn greets you and takes you upstairs and shows you to the room. There is only one room. And uh, you walk into this room and it's a fair, I mean, it's decent sized. And um, they let you know that they only have essentially one room, but they have dividers that they can put up if you need the privacy of of having your own space and uh, they let you know that the dividers are just they're just wood planks there's nothing fancy about them there's a stable what what I didn't say nothing huh keep it up so uh he they basically let you know that this is you're, you're again welcome to to look about and everything and they think and every person that comes in contact with you is thanking you for returning the body that's the first thing they tell you is thank you for bringing them back um and they tell you to, to rest up and the um the, the leader the village leader will be with you in the morning and it's a about, it's like mid mid afternoon ish, maybe late afternoon. Mm-hmm. 
Um, is there, like, uh, is there someone in the village who, like, knows the history of the village and the people and stuff? It's possible. Well, I ask around if there is somebody in the village that knows that stuff specifically. Streetwise. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What was that? Streetwise check. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Your ability to find information and in places. No, I mean, what? what's it based on? Oh, I got it. Never mind. Uh, I think charisma or wisdom. I forget. Yeah, it's charisma. Aha! Got a 24. Um, yeah, they tell you that there, there is someone, um, that the, uh, the wise one would be able to give you the information you need, but they would be preoccupied right now until after the ceremony. Right. And you said we were just kind of free to wander? Mm-hmm. Alright, um... I guess I'm gonna make my way to the garden. Okay. Um... What, what do I see there? Well, at first glance you notice just a simple... garden. And, uh, upon further investigation you would notice that they have a roof in the middle of this garden okay and uh like a gazebo type thing um no it looks like an actual like a it looks like just a roof on the ground I, I can't I, maybe I'm not like imagining this correctly like there's no literally walls. There, it's literally just it's, four it's, posts and a roof this. over, like, a, like over a well type thing that you would see. It's not over anything. It's a, like the roofing on the ground. So literally just a triangle on the ground, sitting yeah, on the ground, fully no covered. Posts. So you can't see through it. It's just like circular, like a, like a cone. Uh, no, it's kind of pyramid-ish. So like four sides, three sides that are okay. four sides. Interesting. Okay. Um. I guess. Uh, like, is, is there someone nearby? Like a a dragonkin, like townful person. Um. There's, there's someone t currently tending to the garden. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I, kind of curious about the roof thing. I, I go and ask. Um, the greetings. Uh, what? Uh, do you have a moment to speak? They nod to you very, just very gently. Just, yeah. Okay. Um. Exactly what is the um, purpose of that right there? And I point towards the, the roof structure thing. They walk over and they urge you to follow. And okay. they lift a small hatch on one of the sides and uh, show you what's growing within. Okay, what is it? What do I see? Um, various types of mushrooms, primarily. Um, okay. You would find uh, some mo like almost like a moss mm -hmm. growing on the like, basically the walls of the roof. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
It might be. We're supposed to get thunderstorms. Okay. Ooh, it sounded like. And they uh, they give you the they offer the, or extend the invitation that you're free to to take some if you'd like. They just ask that you don't take all of one kind. So right. There's plenty for others. Okay. Um. You know, I I give my my thanks and how how, how like far does this thing go? Does it like go like is it like a full on cavern down to hell or whatever? <laughs> um, <laughs> Bottomless pit. Yeah, I mean. Well, no, it's just a it's just a small roof. It doesn't go very deep. It's probably um, maybe six feet, maybe okay. six to eight feet. Um, and there's a very small set of steps that that you can go in through um, oh, okay. to get down into there. And there's just like levels. a small ladder type thing. Yeah, and there's just layers of different different things growing, and they're almost on like uh, trays that you can pull out to to. To pick from. Interesting. Okay. Anything else interesting about the the gardens that I can see? Um. Not a whole lot. Like nothing that would really throw you off. Okay. Um. Also, you know, one last thing. When I'm there, I I ask the uh, garden tender. Um, who, who was the person that we returned to you? How, they, they have not told you. No. I, I should not be the one to speak his name. You must, you must see the wise man. <laughs> she said she couldn't speak his name. <laughs> he who shall not be named. Um. Then, uh. Uh, very well. Um. Again, my my thanks and blessings go on you and your people. And I, I'll turn and leave the gardens and go to find, uh. Uh. I guess the inn, I'll go and find people there. Uh, back at the inn? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you came back over. He, what? He has returned. Um, I point out to you, uh, more to you than to Odom because of, hello mm -hmm. because Look who's awake. I, I know Odom wouldn't really care mm -hmm. uh, I point out to you that this is usually a very secreted village I'd heard rumors of a, a secret uh, dragonborn village so for them to bring us in and to especially give us free roam is supposedly a really great honor I uh, I uh, said, hmm, let's see, um, is there a reason there's such a reserved and hidden tribe? I didn't actually think they existed, so, frankly, I don't know. Uh, well, whoever it is that we returned, um, is not something the villagers are quite open to speaking of. Uh, it's something they're only comfortable having their leader uh, speak to us about. So this may be a much larger deal than a random group of hunters or muggers or whatever those Kenku people were. Um, uh, I guess, you know, obviously we, we need to be mindful, but we should also relay this to Agara when she returns for the evening. Be careful. I'm gonna kind of just 
wander around and just generally watch the goings on. Just interested because I've never really spent any time around my own kind of people before. Hmm. So I'm very interested in everything going on. You would notice that there are people that are heavily into into studies, studying different um, just different things. There's people that are even studying you, taking <laughs> note of, of what you're doing, your mannerisms, your characteristics. Please don't rip my pop filter. <laughs> um, you would notice that there are people sketching you, especially Odom. There are three people sitting around sketching you and making note <laughs> of what you're doing and how you're just standing there. Okay. okay. Well, I thought it'd be much funnier to be like... <laughs> that, that's what I was like. <laughs> Strike a pose. Now, now's when I want him to randomly pull an item out of his bag. <laughs> <laughs> pull out a giant staff and be like... <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Kiss. Fantastic. Boy. Um, so yeah, I'm assuming the preparing the body and all of that takes pretty much all evening. Correct. Then I eventually will make my way back to the inn. Okay. Anyone else doing anything? Uh, I'll let her know the information I previously let Roji know about. Uh, same. I'll, I'll mention, you know, the uh, bit about this guy must be a bigger deal than just some guy who got caught off hunting by headhunters. Well, obviously it wasn't headhunters. He still has head. <laughs> uh, bum, 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 bum. Wah. Rim shot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, and you said this is still just like primarily like a field, like outside of the inn. What kind of other buildings are there? Just like homes for other individuals or something? Um, well, you'll notice that the homes are primarily multifamily. They're not, they don't live, so it's not like just single families living to one home. You notice that they mm -hmm. are, there are multiple people living in, in, in homes. Um, you would notice a stable just outside the inn. You would notice that there is a larger building with a side, a small side building across from the inn. Mm -hmm. um, where people seem to be bustling in and out of. You would notice a very small building um, just a few doors down from that that um, people are coming in and out of as well. You all would also know that that's the building that they took the body into. Okay. Um, what do you keep... <laughs> Oh, hey, guys. I don't want to talk through you. <laughs> yeah. Talking to his butt. Oh. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Um, you would notice that there is an herbalist's shop right next to the, in the building next to the garden. And you would smell um, different herbs and stuff coming from that, that building. Um, and you don't see you don't see much in the way of ch actual like children, but you do see uh, younger dragonborn running around. A lot of them are doing a lot of ba basically the errand work. Okay. You don't see weapons. You don't see like you you you'd almost think this is like a monastery with just how peaceful and quiet everything is. Okay. 
Um, I guess at that point I would just go up to the room that they have provided and I guess, you know, kind of be with my thought, you know, be one with my thoughts or whatever, um, just to try to get a grasp on what this whole, all, what all the information could mean for the bigger picture. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Anyone else? No, I'm good. Yeah. Sure, it gets to be okay. food time eventually. It does, and they actually give you quite the uh, spread downstairs. So whenever you are ready, they when you come down, there's a large spread of food at the main table of the inn. Yay! I thank them for the wonderful food and sit down to dig in. Mm -hmm. I pull out my me sized plate. <laughs> <laughs> Please, sir, Are you still I invisible? I am still invisible, so I just look like a floating plate. Hey. <laughs> I put myself in the inn and I'm under the inn now. So is Gaia. <laughs> Whoa. I need to like move the TV up closer behind me so it looks like I just have like everything going on behind me and you can't see the edges of the TV. Sorry, dogs are chasing cat. Where did the uh. end go now? Hold on. Uh oh. The end blew up! Look what you've done. <laughs> No, I was fixing the order of something. <clears throat> I, bec um. I become visible for mealtime. <laughs> Whoa, where'd he come from? Does anybody react to him suddenly becoming visible? Um, nobody in the end because there's only one person running the end. Ah. And they weren't there for him to suddenly be like, poof. Ah, damn it. Emery, stop that. Thank you. All right, so, um, well, uh, Radix, your character is still sitting outside the inn. Are you partic oh. participating or? Oh, yeah, sorry. Or do you just need like, some alone time? I don't need food. I think you just need some alone time. Time out. I cannot target my person. Hold on. What did you do, woman? I can now target my person. Yay! I told you I was trying to fix the order of things. Way to right. go. I, I am inside. Oh, Bobby. Yeah, basically, you know, I again, I'm kind of mulling over what's been mentioned today while I 
partake with, you know, just some basic underdark delicacies or whatever in a small bowl, not being very sociable. Okay. You would also notice that they do have some of the uh, underdark fungus and stuff available okay. on their spread. Yeah, I'll probably take just a little of that. And again, you know, go to some quiet place and mull over what's been going on. Is there... Is there anything going on after dinner? Like, if we go back out? It's very... It's, unusually quiet um you notice that there are other people coming into the village now though um throughout the day you've heard horns and such but nothing alarming or anything like that um nothing that would have been out of the ordinary since your arrival and mm -hmm. now you notice that their horns are no longer being sounded and there are people there are others arriving uh, mm -hmm. these are those that are arriving are primarily dragon kin that are coming in um, they are not coming into the inn when they stay. They are setting up tents and such um, on the other end of, of the village. Hmm. Okay. Is the, the wise guy still um, tied up with dealing with the body? Oh, yeah. Well, they said we wouldn't be able to meet with him until the morning. Oh. Uh, at least I, I think that was it, right? Correct. Okay. I missed that. Cool. Um, yeah. I guess at this point, you know, I'm just going to go and spend my evening meditating for, you know, however long with my, for my deity, la da 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 And da 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 yeah, that's, that's, that's how I meditate, you know. Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> La -da 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 -da. All right. And what is Odom doing since you've been so silent? I'm just basically hanging out. There's not a lot going on right now that is affecting me. So, waiting for tomorrow. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Waiting for tomorrow. I mean, yeah, it, it's kind of hard to be just this automated guide when <laughs> yeah. you don't have too many cares. Mm. All right. Thunder? That's what it sounded like. Yay, thunder. Yay. I eat and go to bed. All righty. The night passes without, uh, oh, come on, there it is, um, without too much, uh, noise or bustle, you'll notice that there's definitely more dragon kin in the morning when you, when you wake up, um, when you finally make your way down for breakfast, who would be the first one that would get up? And head down. Uh, well, I get up early, but I, I meditate in the morning, so I would probably not be first down. My guess would probably be either Hawthorne or Odem would be the first ones down. More likely that guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, does Odin actually go and take a room, or does he just sit outside? Like, well, there's only one room. Technically, you guys are all in the same room. Oh. Um, <laughs> don't. I'm pretty squawk. much just standing by the door. There you go. He's the first one down because he's been down there the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Odin, you would n would notice that um, since you stayed downstairs the entire evening. That people have been coming and going, like have been coming in all morning. Oh, it's my eyelid. 
Yeah, I love you too. Mwah. I love you too. All right, I'll get you yummies. Come here. Don't yell at me. Um, treat. Anyway, treat. people coming and going. Um, there would be people coming and going. Or, well, not so much going, but coming in uh, in the morning as soon as the sun rises. Um, there would be dragon kin that are coming in. And these are, like, you, you can tell just by looking at them that they are not from the village. They're dressed in a more uh, modern-esque apparel. What are you doing? He really likes being there tonight. He does. He just... Just don't poop on the pop filter. I don't have to clean it. I come downstairs. Okay. Um, they have food set out. It's essentially like a buffet style. Um, there's food set out for you to go ahead and grab whatever you would like to eat. And there are plenty of dragon kin all over the place. Uh, grab a meal for me and the cat. Okay. I will, uh, make my way downstairs and, uh, kind of go to, I guess we'll call it, like, closer to the edge of, uh, the village or something so that I can be out in, like, an open field or something so that I can you know, whatever, like, a meditate for the sunrise kind of thing without, you know, obstacles. You know, sun gone and stuff. <laughs> I just meditate in the room. Okay. Are you going to just meditate through the morning, or will you eventually decide, oh, I probably should go eat something? Um, yeah, I'll probably do like an hour of meditating and then come down. Okay. Uh, Radix? Um, I, I have basically, you know, stuff with me. I don't usually leave my pack places, so I, I have stuff that, um, I will kind of like munch on when I'm finished or whatever. Okay. As a small guy, I don't need a ton of sustenance. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as you guys are eating, a uh, member of the village comes in and makes an announcement that is for you and for the others in that are having breakfast with you that the ceremonies will begin shortly and that you should be prepared to travel. Ceremonies. Okay. Probably for the dead guy. Arlie, you would recognize this as a burial ceremony preparation. Yeah. Cool. Alright, I'll... Where do we meet up? make my way over. Is are you asking them where you where to meet yeah. up at or okay. Um they would let you know that the meeting uh you guys would be meeting in the center of the town. Okay. Yeah. I know baby, you don't like storms. Center of the town. Woo. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, I kinda meander that way. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you notice that there are a fair bit of dragonborn and dragon kin that are gathering around with you. <laughs> All I saw was cat butt <laughs> and, and a tail. I don't really. Uh, okay. He's uh, being pushy, so he has to come up. Is, yeah. that, the claustroph is that the claustrophobic one? No, that's the other one. Okay. Orange, Abby. That's the cute and fluffy one. 
Um, as you're uh, as you're gathering in the center of town, you'll notice that there are um, other dragonborn and dragon kin, a fair number of both that are gathering around with you. Um, many of them are in very bright colored garb um, in honor to celebrate the dead. And uh, the careful um the cart that the dead would be wheeled to the burial uh pyre for are on would is uh highly decorated in honor of who they were and from looking at it you would be able to notice uh that it was a a great hunter and a very wise man that was that is being buried. Yeah. So wait, so is the wise man that I've been trying to talk to the new wise man, and this was the old wise man, and I got the backup wise man? Because that's sad. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? My dog farted. <laughs> <laughs> It's not funny. It sucks. I wasn't sure if it was the dog or the bird, but <laughs> I don't. I don't know that birds fart. I just. I don't know about Every all that. Every animal farts. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, but you would notice that they, it, like, they, you could just tell this was a very important person that um, that is being okay. buried. Uh, or that the ceremony is for, okay. and um, the gentleman who that um is carrying the the, the uh, dragon kin that you delivered is there, well there's several gentlemen that are carrying him I should say and um they're dressed very ornately in very uh almost regal esque garb and uh, I can't mess. <laughs> um, and uh, they they come out and they put the uh, the body on a cart. That's a, it's a, just a, a simple uh, it's a flat cart, um, the ornately decorated one, and um, begin to personally pull this cart out of the, outside of the village. And uh, do you guys follow them? Um, sure, I guess. Yep. Okay. And is you're still in the hotel. <laughs> well, I came out with you guys. Oh. You just Your marker is still I there. Didn't, I just didn't move it on the map. Oh, okay. Um, it's... Um, you notice that the other dragon kin and dragonborn are following the cart as well? Nope. <laughs> Uh, you would also notice that they are they're not going too heavily like too far outside of town but they are going a, a good distance away you begin to notice that there is a uh, a pyre for the body and uh, I know that's right uh-huh. holy cow <laughs> You know rain, yay! No, well, earlier I'm like, is that rain? And he's like, I don't know, we're supposed to get lightning. Yeah. And now it's pouring, like, it sounds like, it sounds like somebody turned on their hose and is press pressure washing the house. Ah. Um. You notice that they are... Um. Taking this body over to the pyre, and they are beginning their prayers for the body and blessing the body as they are laying it on the pyre and their uh the gentleman that is dressed most regularly is handed a torch and he says he says a brief blessing as he ignites the pyre okay and 
many others will continue to to bless as it, as it's burning and incense is thrown onto the pyre along with it um, as a blessing for the body and many other things and then the uh, groups the group disperses and everybody heads back to town okay So what are you doing? Um, I'm going to first follow up with the merchant and ask him about if now is a good time to tell them about the dagger. Uh, the merchant tells you that they will, they will inquire when the time is right. Can okay. I... Can I just do an uh, insight check to see, like, how, if I think he's being truthful or not? Sure. That would be a 22. Oh, yeah, he's completely truthful. Okay. I guess, you know, I'm just going to remain quiet and whatever saw them through this whole sad ordeal or whatever. Okay. Um, where did the wise man go? Um, he returned with the other gentleman and the cart that the body was brought in with, and then they went into the, um, essentially the, uh, excuse me, the leader's home across the way from the inn. In that case, I will just kind of wander around and just generally talk about, um, talk to, like, whoever's around about what life is like in the town and stuff. Things of a general nature. Okay. Um, the, the people that you talk to seem very sad about, about the situation. Nobody is, um, I thank you, um, no one is really re willing to speak much as far as, um, like answering questions or anything like that. They'll say brief statements like, you know, it it's a sad loss and I can't believe this happened and who would do such a thing, um. But nothing that would lead you in any direction or anything. Yeah, that's cool. Are you guys just heading back to the inn upon your return, or? Unless we've got a better idea. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we can really accomplish much until. We're able to speak with the wise man, I mean. I mean, that's basically who we need to talk to about the dagger, the identity of this wise hunter, and, you know, how, how we were given this privilege to come here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I guess I'll just meander over okay, yeah, here we go. is there somebody working in the garden today uh no there's not somebody in the garden today And yeah, after milling about for a little bit, I'll head back to the inn, too. Okay. Yeah, I meandered over also. 
We're all a bunch of meanderers. Oh no. All right. Um, upon your return to the inn, you'll notice that they have um, some ale available to you if you are interested. They have some tea available if you are interested. Um, a small spread for a light, like a, basically a light lunch worth of food available. Okay. <laughs> it looks like it's a colossally big dog. <laughs> I, I see a lot of dog. shadow. I, yeah. I found the dog from Sandlot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like perspective. He looks humongous. <laughs> he, he makes it difficult to do anything. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, my shiny. My shiny. Proceed. You say my shiny? Yeah, they like he likes shinies, so he'll chew at my wedding band and stuff. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wait, yep. you can chew up your wedding band? No, he'll chew on it like oh, okay. arr, arr, arr. like yeah, a teething that's fine. Arm. Yeah, I was just wondering, like, if you could actually like bite into it, that would be impressive. No, but he likes shinies, so. Rings, bells, anything metallic. Yeah. 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 That's cool. that was, yeah. Um. As you are. Oh, stop that! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm exhausted. Thanks, jerk. I'm getting covered in sunflower seeds. Oh, I thought you got pooped on. I know, me too. Well, that too. Oh, yeah. I'm still trying to potty train him. Everyone, like, normally, I'll, if I'm paying attention to him constantly, I can catch it, and I'm like, that's not a problem. Um, mm -hmm. But right now, I haven't been really paying attention. I know, oh. buddy. You're okay. Um, <clears throat> as you guys are enjoying your light lunch and and just sitting around, a uh, messenger comes in and advises that the uh, leader of Chev is here and would like to meet with you. Yay! And they uh, let you know that he will be available essentially within the hour. Hey, hey, hey. Can I help you? Uh, no, 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 here. Well, we should go see him then. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> now our pixie is a robot. Yeah, damn you charismatic people. <laughs> so, uh... You essentially are going across the street. Okay. Um, oh, it's the the little like building or whatever with the yeah the building across the across the road. Um, that's the building <laughs> that uh that the leader is in. Um, that's also the building that the wise man went into. Cool. Oh. Come with what? Moose. I. Daisy, down. Come on. Right now. Oh, what? Um. So, uh. When you go in there, there is a small fire in the center of the room. Okay. And. A table in the air in the uh, corner. You would also see that that it's just a very small, simple 
back room that uh but basically essentially nothing fancy there's a stair a set of stairs that go up that would lead to living quarters and at the table you would notice the um leader of Chev and the leader of the small village as well as the wise man waiting for you. Definitely a good sign. Sorry, that just looked funny. What? The, the bird flicking whatever that is. It's a cat toy. Oh. It's a little plastic cat toy with a bell in the center. Right, okay, yep. He no. loves them. Lay down. Do you want it? Are you done? Oh, well, now you lost it. <laughs> down. Here, step up. up. Ah, leave it. Okay. Here. Down, down. Emerus. Fine. Go away. Ow. Uh, oh, it's Neil. Oh, ow. Neil? They don't see her. Yes, they do. Oh, they don't. That's right. Only my stream does. Oh, well. Uh, Nell, it's our black kitty. Aww. It's actually Sil's kitty. Mm. Sil is his people. Her people. Oh, she just clawed the shit out of my shoulder. Aww. It's a Nelly girl. She's a lover. She thinks she's a bird. Um, so you go into the leader's home, and you have these three... They're waiting to speak with you. Toby. Yay. So. And they're sitting around the table. They invite you in to to sit with them. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, I proceed to go and sit. I'll find a convenient spot and sit down myself. Yeah, I think this it would be the first time I've not been standing up in this entire campaign. <laughs> now you were sitting when I think Never. When you came back. Nope. Wasn't he sitting waiting for the sun to come up that one day? Nope, standing. Nope. <laughs> yep. Awesome. <laughs> this is inefficient. <laughs> <laughs> Why do humans do this? Or people? So, uh, but yes, they open the. They, they extend the invitation for you guys to come in and sit down. So Odom is sitting down. Everybody's sitting down? Am I following that correct? I'm standing on the table. You're standing of on the table. Of course you are. In front of a chair, I would hope? Sure. I just want to make sure you're not trying to be the centerpiece. <laughs> Holding a flower. <laughs> oh that's not a pixie, that's a vase. <laughs> So, um, Mia. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, I can't believe I'm a stinking tiger. If you want, we can just hold off. Yeah, and have, have our big meeting at the start of next week. Yeah. Uh, what time is it? Quarter to 10. Holy crap, yeah, let's do that. Okay. okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> it's alright, man, you know? <laughs> um, Emerus. This is. This is going to be like a, a big deal, so it's probably better that we do this fresh. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. That's so early. What are you doing, cat? Tweet. Uh, make Tweet. note of where we left off at here. Going after that fly, aren't you? Yep. Cat's trying to get a fly? Yeah. I'm happy there are none flying around my screen today. <laughs> I've had one buzzing me all night. It's just Daisy, okay. All right, so then we will go ahead and call it for the night. Um, we will give everyone a... 
Um, we'll do a thousand. A thousand experience. Yay! That puts us at seven. Level seven. New encounter power. Oh, do we get a new encounter at seven? Yep. Paris, be nice to her. Hey, hey. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. I hey. saw that. Daisy Jane. Bird is biting the dog. The bird is biting the that, dog? Yeah. yeah. This little, like, one pound bird is biting the shit out of your, like, <laughs> 200 pound dog. He doesn't even weigh a pound. Okay, your, like, quarter pound bird is biting yeah, the hell out of go. the nose of the 200 pound dog. Okay. We're gonna say the dog could eat him and not even notice. Well, the issue is that Emerus is. Con I'm, I'm pretty certain Emerus is convinced I am his. And I belong to nobody else, and I cannot have another cat on my lap. I can't ever. Oh, well, isn't that kind of typical of birds and parrots and stuff? Like, they tend to bond pretty strongly with one person. Yeah. I have no idea. I've never owned birds. I have not either, but I've watched shows about it. Great, now you're standing on your ball. How are you going to throw it now? I've seen birds on TV, so... <laughs> uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the stream. Cool. Okay.